Marie Curie was a physicist, chemist and pioneer in the study of radiation. She and her husband Pierre discovered the elements polonium and radium, for which they and Henry Becquerel were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903. Born Maria Sklodowska in 1867 in Warsaw, Poland, she was the youngest of five children. After her mother died and her father could no longer support her, she became a governess, reading and studying in her own time to quench her thirst for knowledge. Up to this point, her lack of money prevented her from attending higher education, but when her sister offered her lodgings in Paris with a view to going to university, she grasped the opportunity and moved to France in 1891. Marie entered Swan University in Paris where she read physics and mathematics, discovering a deep passion for the subjects. It was in Paris in 1894 that she met Pierre Curie, a scientist working in the city whom she married a year later. The Curies became research workers at the School of Chemistry and Physics in Paris, where they began their pioneering work into the invisible rays given off by uranium, a new phenomenon which had been recently discovered by Professor Henry Becquerel. He had shown that the rays were able to pass through solid matter, fog and photographic film and caused air to conduct electricity. Mary also noticed that samples of a mineral called pitchblende, which contains uranium ore, were a great deal more radioactive than the pure element uranium. Mary was convinced she had found a new chemical element, but other scientists doubted her results. Pierre and Mary set about working to search for the unknown element. They ground up samples of pitchblende, dissolved them in acid and began to separate the different elements present. Eventually they extracted a black powder, 330 times more radioactive than uranium, which they called polonium. Upon further investigation, the Curies found that the liquid left behind after they had extracted polonium was still extremely radioactive. They realised that pitchblende contained another new element, far more radioactive than polonium, but present in even smaller quantities. In 1898, the Curies published strong evidence supporting the existence of the new element, which they called radium, but they still had no sample of it. Pitchblende is an expensive material because it contains valuable uranium, and Mary needed a lot of it. She got in touch with a factory in Austria that removed the uranium from pitchblende for industrial use and bought several tonnes of the material. Mary set about processing the pitchblende to extract the tiny quantities of radium. This involved working on a much larger scale than before with 20 kilogram batches of the mineral. The work was heavy, physically demanding and involved dangers the Curies did not appreciate. During this time they began to feel sick and physically exhausted. Today we would attribute their ill health to the early symptoms of radiation sickness. At the time they persevered in ignorance of the risks, often with raw and inflamed hands because they were continually handling highly radioactive material. In 1902 Murray eventually isolated radium as radium chloride, determining its atomic weight. In 1903, Marie and Pierre were awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics jointly with Henry Becquerel for their combined, though separate, work on radioactivity. In the same year, Marie passed her doctoral thesis in physics. In 1906, Marie's life was struck by tragedy when Pierre was killed in a street accident after being knocked down by a horse and cart. Her indomitable spirit, however, kept her working and she went on to succeed him in his chair as Professor de Sorbonne, as well as carrying on lecturing where he had left off. Her determination and remarkable endeavours led to a second Nobel Prize in 1911, this time in chemistry for creating a means of measuring radioactivity. During the First World War, Marie Curie worked to develop small mobile X-ray units that could be used to diagnose injuries near the battlefront. As director of the Red Cross Radiological Service, she toured Paris asking for money, supplies and vehicles which could be converted. In October 1914, the first machines and those petit curies were ready and Marie set off to the front. She worked with her daughter Iron at casualty clearing stations close to the front line, X-raying wounded men to locate fractures, bullets and shrapnel. After the war, Marie continued her work as a researcher, teacher and head of a laboratory. She was also the recipient of many honorary degrees from universities around the world. She visited Poland for the last time in early 1934, and a few months later, on the 4th of July 1934, she died in France from aplastic anemia, believed to have been contracted from her long-term exposure to radiation. Marie Curie is remembered for her discovery of radium and polonium, and her huge contribution to finding treatments for cancer.